All right, guys, we are on day five, four, four or five, 500, I don't know, four, day four. Fourth day hunting. Fourth day hunting here, here in Colorado. Fourth day we're here. Fifth day we're here. Yeah, that's right. Fourth day hunting straight, a lot of miles in the truck, no cats so far. Not, not a one, not a one. Um, yeah, we were down hunting south. We're here in Grand Junction, but we were down south like, what, two hours? Yep. We've been hunting down there the last three days. Uh, got close yesterday, found a, a fresh track, a day old track. Oh, it was like 18 hours old. Dumped the dogs. Um, they went on the chase. They acted like it was, you know, they were smelling yeah, they it. Yeah, opened up on it. Yeah, yeah. and uh, they got down there and they got confused. There was a bunch, I guess there was a bunch of uh, tracks in there because there was a, a cat kill. It killed a deer hey, up in there no. and then his tracks were going all over. It kind of confused the dogs, but... Um, and then we went back after that same cat this morning trying to round up his tracks to get a fresher set. Couldn't do it, but uh, the bigger picture is there's a big um, initiative. There's some uh, conservation. There's one conservation group here in Colorado that's trying to shut down as we speak right now while we're down here hunting. Uh, they're trying to shut down hound hunting so you wouldn't be able to chase cats with hounds. And if you guys have spent a lot of time in the woods, uh, to try to go and hunt a cat without a hound is, I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it's nearly impossible. All the times, all the years I've spent out in the woods, which is 30 plus hunting and fishing, I've seen two cats in my life. And uh, both times were kind of a freak deal. So they're a very uh, stealthy animal that just doesn't, don't uh, come out in the open, I guess. They travel by night. They're very nocturnal. Anyways, so they're trying to shut it down. And which they did to the bears here, uh, I think in 92. Yeah, 20 years ago. 20 years ago, they shut down the bear hunting with hounds. Bears are a little bit different. You can go out and do a spot and stock bear hunt and uh, be somewhat successful. And, uh, but they shut it down with hounds. And the number one way to manage, properly manage cats is to hunt them and kill some of them. And the only way really to do that is with hounds. So it's a big deal right now. JT, who's the owner of All Out Outfitters, who we're with, is kind of in the middle of it. He's been doing a lot to try and uh, come to a reasonable agreement with this other group that's trying to shut it down. You know, like I guarantee you, there's no one in the woods, there's no one in the world that care more about the the livelihood of cats than houndsmen. They love those things. If you're a houndsman, you you love cats, and uh, they just know that the proper way to manage them is to kill some every year. So they're willing to set female quotas. They're willing to do whatever to. Uh, keep hound hunting because who knows what's going to happen when they shut it down like the cats will become overrun and what happens then is your deer and your elk populations really struggle anyway so where i was going with that was there was a big meeting in aspen tonight and jt and willie the other guy really wanted to go and me and eric were like yeah like we'll take the afternoon off you go you guys need to go and do that we posted some stuff to try to get some more people there but uh so that's what's happening right now right uh, right now as we speak they're on their way to aspen and the meeting starts three hours so now we're just gonna hang out we like Casey said we did some social media posts trying to get more people that live in the state of Colorado to to go and attend the meeting but if anything hopefully we can push some of you guys to help like sign petitions and stuff right now none of that's set up so hopefully within the next week or so there will be and you guys can go there and yes too. yeah so I mean that's the thing. This this is so much more than hound hunting and and or hound hunting with or lion hunting or hound hunting for lions. Like this really comes down to they are trying to take our hunting rights away. So anyone who hunts deer, elk, bear, upland game, anything, all sportsmen alike, we need to like team up right now, big time. Because if they take this away, then they're just going to chip away at anything else down the road. I think this is just where they start, the weakest link, predators. We started with bears, it'll be mountain lions, and eventually they'll say you don't need to hunt deer and elk because now we have tons of mountain lions and bears, and that's obviously why they want wolves here, which luckily didn't pass, right? Something. Yeah, cool. there was a big uh, meeting last night. It's funny how these groups go about uh, doing this stuff. They do it right in the middle of hound hunting season, cat hunting. These houndsmen, that's how they provide food for their family, is they bring clients in, like us, that pay them to go out, and they use their dogs to hunt cats. And uh, they do it right in the middle of hound hunting where they know the houndsmen won't be able to attend because they're out working their jobs. Plus, they do it at the same time they're trying to do the same thing with wolves, reintroduce wolves into uh, Colorado, which is not a good idea. Anyways, in my opinion. But uh, So it's funny how these groups go about it. They're very sneaky about it. But anyways, um, yeah, we're trying to help out because uh, 
we know, like, it's funny, I don't want to get too deep into this, but from what I've seen over the years of doing what we do and hunting and anything like that, we, uh, these guys run off, these special interest groups run off emotion more than anything. And which, you know, we're very emotional and, and passionate about the animals we chase. You guys know that if you watch our videos. But at the same time, uh, you can't let emotion override science and fact. There are biologists that are hired by every state to go out and study uh, the best way to manage these herds. That's what, that's what their job is. And at the end of the day, it has to come down to science and fact. That's the only thing that will help us manage our herds health, healthy uh, is by using science in fact and not just emotion a lot of these groups they run off emotion they like cats so they think there should be millions of cats but what does that do what happens when that happens when that's allowed it's not good for the other things that are out in the woods so anyways that's what we're doing we're having a blast <laughs> we are this is our little setup it's what do, uh, what do we call cabin it house. it's a cows. cow or a habit it's a little bit of all it's like a little uh cabin house this, this thing eric wants to live in it yeah this right? is rad man this is all you need Living space. Yeah, a little bit of entertainment here with the TV that gets sheds three channels. Everywhere. Sheds everywhere. Nice um, size kitchen and a bedroom. Yeah, bedroom. But that's that's what we're doing. Dog, comes Two dogs. Puppy. This is Zeke. Zeke come super on. cute puppy. And then this is, this is Zeke's, Zeke's mom. mom. We don't know. Her we name. don't know her name. Anyway, I just want to do one take. Uh, catch you guys up. We have two more days of hunting. Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday we're actually flying the Hush crew. Uh, me and Eric and Brian's gonna meet us. We're going to. Vegas, Las Vegas for the uh, SHOT Show. So we'll be hanging out at the SHOT Show all next week. Um, we'll be in the Mountain Ops booth a lot, but we'll be around First Light booth, Vortex booth, uh, places. So if you're there, come say hi. But we just want to give you guys a quick update what's going on. Uh, we haven't killed yet, so we're still hunting. You know, really, we both have tags. Um, Eric's, it's most important that Eric kills a cat. Right? <laughs> I'm first up. Yes. He says, so so anyways. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, if you can get involved with the situations going in Colorado, uh, please do because it's very important for uh, all sportsmen. Anybody that likes to spend time in the woods, really. Anyways, bye. Bye. Say bye. Peace.